go. Theo Epstein. That's not shit. Hi. Thanks everybody for coming. What if it, I does his voice squeak when he talks? Did it? No, I'm just oh. saying. He looks like he's going through puberty. <laughs> yeah. Got a haircut though. Get trimmed up for the for the for the presser. Have to. Yeah. Yeah. You think he went to Ricketts Barber? Yeah, she got a my barber. He's great. <laughs> You like that thing where they put they put the massager on your neck? They do that. It's great. Coming today. Yeah, I've waited a, a few. That our new president of baseball operations will lead us to that day. And with that, I'd like to introduce Theo Epstein. That's not, that's shit. Thanks everybody for coming today. Yeah, I've waited a, a few weeks to say this, but it truly feels great to be a Cub today. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking. He's not a Cub. Yes, he is. It's just a suit. Not a cub. A cub is on the field. Cubs organization. All right. Is he going to play? I, he looks like he could. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, you know. I don't think so, though. No. All right. It's exciting. I wonder what he's going to say. You know, his, uh... I heard Jim mocking him already out there. <laughs> he is not. I heard Jim, a, a mocking laugh from Jim. Jim's excited. No, no. I was laughing at Pete's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. like Dwight when the uh, yeah. like when Dwight gets excited on the office. Uh, yeah. I want to. I want to. If I was at the press conference, I'd ask him about how his great uncle and grandfather wrote Casablanca, and if he has any desire to, you know, continue in the tradition of great screenwriting, perhaps after uh, his career ends. That would be my question. Perhaps a baseball movie <laughs> set in Morocco. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Tom and, and the entire Ricketts family. Uh, for putting their faith in me uh, and for giving me this incredible opportunity. I wouldn't be here without your commitment to the fans and without your long-term vision for the organization. Uh, I'd also like to thank Crane Kenny for working tirelessly to get this transaction done. Uh, Crane, I've really enjoyed uh, my brief time working with you so far, and I look forward to working closely with you as my partner uh, on the business side of the organization. What ha I thought he was the president. Crane Kenny. Uh, he's the, he, he must be the president of business. Yeah, it's just the business that side now. A, that guy's a dope. Period. I've been around leadership changes in baseball, and I've been around interim GM. Like, like I just a little league team. <laughs> I mean, how long has this guy been in baseball? Like two years? No, he's been in a while. He's been, a while. He's been in there for a while. He's like Pete's age. He's younger than me. Yeah. Well, but, by like a year. He's like 38 or something. I think since like the late 90s, he was in, he's been in Yeah, all right. I mean, he's been with the Red Sox since 2003 or four, and then he was with San Diego for a couple of years before that. So, Okay. He's just a good judge of talent? I think he is, yeah. yeah. You see, have you seen Moneyball? No, but but that, like that, it's kind right? of like, yeah. yeah. Like, I think, you know, because like as Tom Ricketts said in the uh, in introducing him, he's a, you know very analytical and like in this Moneyball the movie, stats. you know, he's like in the stats right. and, you know, on base percentage. Those sabermetrics. And sabermetrics, yeah. Right. Right. So pretty much anybody who got the sabermetrics could be him. Well. Like you could be it. Pete hey, Zimmerman, <laughs> um, I want to thank uh, Green Kenny, who's a complete douchebag. Uh, my friend Jim Rafato, who's out there. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, also thinks he sucks. I've got the Sabermetrics account, so it should be super easy. We're working with U.S. Customs and Immigration to make sure that Soriano and some of the other uh, players we're trying to get rid of can't re-enter the United States. Uh, that's about it, really. Uh, see you at the trough. <laughs>